Well, I'm about to receive a briefing from our uh, COVID-19 team. But before I begin, I know there is a concern and some considerable confusion about the rising cases. <clears throat> so let me provide a quick update and talk about three specific topics. And I'll give it to you straight, as I promised you I always would. We're going to see, as you all have been hearing, continued rise in cases. Omicron is very transmissible, a transmissible variant, but much different than anything we've seen before. And But you can protect yourself. And you should protect yourself, quite frankly. Get vaccinated. Get boosted. There's plenty of booster shots. Wear a mask while you're in public. Because what we know is this. The impact from the rising cases depends on the effect on the person based on whether that person and what their vaccination status is. You can control how big an impact Omicron is going to have on your health if you get over Omicron. You know, they're, they're, those are fully vaccinated, especially those with the booster shots. And by the way, we have booster shots for the whole nation, okay? We, you can still get COVID, but it's highly unlikely, very unlikely that you become seriously ill. And we're seeing COVID-19 cases among vaccinated in workplaces across America, including here at the White House. But if you're vaccinated and boosted, you are highly protected. You know, be concerned about Omicron, but don't be alarmed. But if you're unvaccinated, you have some reason to be alarmed. Many of you will, uh, you know, uh, uh, you'll experience severe illness in many cases if you get COVID-19, if you're not vaccinated. Some will die, needlessly die. 